Hi there. In this tip, we took pen and paper and computer and calculator and combined it with pickleball. Really important and interesting. Revolutions per minute. We used high speed camera action to determine all the data in this series. And we used the Pickleball Tutor Plus that can feed with backspin, flat, and topspin to get a consistent ball so that we could eliminate all the variables or as many variables as possible. So the tip that we're gonna share right now is really interesting and it has to do with the revolutions per minute or the RPMs of top spin before and after the bounce, of flat before and after the bounce, and backspin before and after the bounce. So obviously we took uh, uh, above average, advanced, advanced intermediate, let's say a 4.5 level player to 5.0 level player to just have a gauge and a steady uh, kind of comparison of that player level because after all most of us are aspiring to get better. That's a given. All right, so top spin. The inbound spin, incoming spin, and this was a top player performing this, was 1,475 revolutions per minute or RPMs. And coming off the bounce, after the bounce, when that top spin is coming in at 1,475 RPMs, after the bounce, it sped up to 1,875. It was an increase of 21%. Really interesting. A flat ball, however, is very different. Zero RPMs going into the bounce, and then as we've discussed in other tips, after the bounce, it's gonna have topspin. How much? A surprising amount. It ended up with, after the bounce, 950 R RPMs. 950, really interesting. Backspin, if we hit backspin with 825 RPMs, that kind of slice, right? After the bounce, the RPMs with top spin were the least, 325. Very interesting, and now you can understand the effect of spin on the ball before and after the bounce in terms of ball rotation. Thanks for joining us.